This is what we came for. This is the shit. This is the drop. Yeah, this is the drop. My drop. Mm -hmm. This is the shit. The thing is, like, I've never been to New Orleans. This is your very first time, very... so you never, never seen the Zulu parade, none of that. I've never seen a Zulu parade. Girls walk around buck naked with their breasts out. I've never seen, I've never seen a breast. You ain't seen no New Orleans. I've breast. never seen New Orleans breast. You never taste the breast milk. It's. <laughs> I haven't tasted breast milk in quite some time. <laughs> Come on, Ma. Sorry, God. Sorry, stop. Hippie, 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 hippie. Say, say, give it to me like that. Been in, been in, bust it back. So, Ma, you really ain't. Wah, wah, wah. You know, what's up, what's up, what's up, one eye? Drop, let a butter milk drop. Thank y'all so much. to Mardi Gras ever because I don't drink. I don't really care about seeing boobs. I definitely don't care about beads. We're going to be checking out two different Mardi Gras, the Cajun and the Zulu. I'm really excited to see how this is gonna blossom into either good ideas or bad ideas, good decisions, bad decisions. All right, let's get it. It's the morning out here in New Orleans. We're about to meet Paul Artigue. He's the chef and owner of Green Goddess Restaurant out here in the French Quarter in New Orleans. He's taking me to Lafayette to go to the Cajun Mardi Gras. Paul. Yo, how are you? I'm well, how are you, buddy? Good, good. Good, good, good to see you. you. Good yeah. to see you. Thanks for having me, man. No problem. This is it. This is it. The Green Goddess, baby. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's get the road. Oh, my god. It's going to be a good wait. time. I'm going to need one of those. I'm excited to get to this cage of Mardi Gras, man. It's spooky to me. I mean, it is. Because yeah, it's, I'm a, I'm a city boy, and this is this is country. This gets scary. This is some real shit. Yeah, this gets, this gets crazy. This is some bayou shit. As we're driving out to Lafayette, we keep seeing all these signs for the best boudin. So the boudin. You know, it's basically just stuffed intestine. They're going to stuff it with rice. Uh, you know, mostly liver. You know, they'll do a lot of organ meats, yep. you know. Um, and that's big out here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's big, yeah. Definitely a staple. Boudin and Cracklins, there you go. Oh, this is the best kind of spots, eh? This is it. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do uh, three crawfish and three uh, regular. All right. And uh, half a pound of Cracklins, too. Thank you, babe. Oh, my god. Is there, like, pickles or anything like that, or you just eat it straight up, just Cracklin and sausage? Up, yeah. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Respect. Cracklins are pork belly that have been confit or braised and then deep fried until they're crispy and then covered in a Cajun spice. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Y'all have a nice day. Thank yeah, you, man. man. Thank you. Woo. Let's do it. It's warm. It's like holding a diaper. <laughs> Here we go. Boom. There we go. Just 
Eat it. Sort of squeeze it out, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of one of my favorite things. It just tastes like really amazing, like, pate. Yeah, dirty rice or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah pate, yeah. It's spicy. It's full of flavor. Tons of, like, herbs in there. It's really delicious. Mm. And then you have these perfect spiced up fracklins to wash it, to wash it all down. <laughs> you know what else those things used to be used for? What? Condoms. What? Yeah. What, the intestines? Yeah, before they got rubber and stuff, yeah. Oh my god. Learning things every day. We're out here in Lafayette. God bless the South, man. <laughs> True blood. <laughs> We're here in the beautiful Grand Coteau. We're meeting up with Toby, who's the man who's going to be bringing us to the Cajun Mardi Gras in Lafayette. We're going to make some dinner, meet him, hang out, and just chill. Um, I'm working on some etouffee. OK. Yeah, if you want to help out, man, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, man. Basin crawfish. So what are you doing? You rinsing it off? Or? The, um, the tails are full of fat. OK. And I want to keep the fat, right. and I'm going to use it in my stock. I'm not going to lie. I Googled the uh, Cajun Mardi Gras. Yeah, what came up? Uh, pictures of like people that look like they're in horror movies. Oh, yeah? What's the history on this Mardi Gras? Like, Why are people dressed up like crazy nightmare clowns? The reason for the long, like, cone hats, right. the capuchons, like, mimics either the aristocracy or the, like, the religious order. OK. And they're the, like, those are authority figures. It was started by peasants. And the peasants dress up as a royalty to mock the rich people. Right. Like, it's like mob is going from house to house and collecting ingredients for a big gumbo. The whole idea is like the trade for giving them a chicken is their entertainment. Right. So like, he's gonna be entertained. They're by like watching. these fools are running up on my house. I'm gonna whip a chicken out for soup, and I sit back and just watch these fools run around. Yeah. Like Mardi Gras, uh, Fat Tuesday. Yeah. Is like meant to be a um, a day of indulgence. It's like people who get gym memberships in January. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You guys are going to rehab, and you guys got 30 days to screw things up. Going up to your like best friend and like throwing him in the ditch. Yeah. Totally okay. Oh man, I hope nobody. I'm gonna get pushed in a ditch. Yeah, you should keep your mask on. I'm uh, gonna keep my mask on. If somebody pushes me in a ditch, it's gonna be a problem. Well. <laughs> Be a Let me tell you something about being having a problem with me. Got a soft voice, but a big fist. <laughs> no. The best way to meet anyone is when they bring you into their home. Getting to watch Toby build a traditional Cajun dish is awesome as a chef. <laughs> Let's serve it up. Can we serve it up, chef? Yeah. Good? I want to serve you a plate. Go ahead, bro. That's like that's real nice. You should go get some rest. We got to get some rest, because tomorrow, I might die. There's no one here from out of town, certainly no one here from Canada. It's all locals. It's 6 AM. They're all getting amped up. They're having a blast. There's all these trailers with people loading up on them. People are running around getting jacked, chugging beers. And I'm just here to participate. Mardi Gras. A lot of crazy ass dudes out here. Yeah. Hey, Mardi Gras. My life. Hey. Let's go. It's time to Mardi Gras. I'm just get in the trailer. Capitan is the first person to approach the houses along the route, asking permission to enter onto the property. So what are we doing now? We're gonna stop at a house, we're gonna get off, we're gonna fuck around, yeah. we're gonna call some shit, yeah. and then we're gonna get back on the bus. So like me and Paul's first time, we were both kind of probably shit scared. They're all like built ass and the young kids that are gonna like run up behind me and tackle me in the back for some chicken. It was a, a warming experience, but topped with fear and anxiety. You know, you, you come down to Cajun country, you gotta participate, you gotta do it. You gotta jump in there. 
The Capitone's got the chicken. He's holding it up high. He throws it up in the air. Everyone runs. Been tangled up in trouble ever since the day that I was born. My daddy taught me right from wrong, but deep down in my soul I was torn. You ever see something like this in New Orleans? No, never in my life. Never in my life. Are you from New Orleans? The same but different. You know? You're from New Orleans, come here and you're like, whoa, yeah. what the f crazy. Like, I thought I knew everything about Mardi Gras. <laughs> I've never seen this anywhere. Like, no. Man, this is crazy. It's a pretty crazy place. We're there, we're outsiders. It's pretty intense. Like, it's hundreds of people trying to fight over each other for one chicken. We're at Mardi Gras. Yeah. Uh, tell me what you think. Like, what, what, what's, up, what's going through your mind right now? This is a young man's game, eh? Oh, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. Cajun Everest right now. Yeah, yeah at, at our summit, there's yeah. a big pot of gumbo oh, waiting man. for you. Oh, eating jambalaya, eating boudin. Never thought I'd be doing this. Me neither. Thank you. <laughs> it's a great Chasing day. chickens out in the <laughs> Cajun countryside. <laughs> you! You know, I think me, 10 years ago, that would have been, like, maybe the best place on Earth. Me and that physical activity, not the best, you know? I'm more of like a sprinter, like one sprint. Times change, man. Were you here for Katrina? Yeah, I mean, it looked like a bomb went off. One of the main things is the real people from New Orleans don't want to live anywhere else. It's just kind of the way no, They got some pride. <laughs> yeah. They love New Orleans. Yeah. They're so sweet. Everyone we've met so far has been like so sweet. First stop this morning, here I'm meeting Cheeky Black. She's a bounce legend. So Cheeky Black, she's a free spirit. You know, she, she's one of those strong, strong women. This is your spot, right? This is my spot. This is what we get in where it's hot. Let's go. Follow me now. OK. Cheeky black world. Everyone else is just kind of paying rent and hanging out. Right here, go ahead. Come on, be a gentleman. Be a gentleman. Some fried catfish, some fried shrimp, and then we'll get the turkey necks. Bust a boo, bust a boo, bust a boo for me. Come through for me. <laughs> bust a boo, bust a boo, Cheeky bust black. A I'm just trying to eat. Every time you eat, yeah. we go twerk out. Let's go. OK. All right. Well, we'll eat first, and then we'll twerk. Just bust a move. Bust, bust, bust a move, bust a move. Get something like that. Bend and bust it right back. Like, I don't I'm give a damn. Canada. All right, right. Well, show me how y'all do down there. Canada, oh, show me how y'all do down there. Get something like that. Bend and bend and bust it right back. Oh, man, this sucks. Oh, man. Come on, man. I'm trying to eat. <laughs> Cheek. Yeah. They're freaking. You're freaking them out. <laughs> you're freaking everyone out, Cheek. <laughs> OK, Cheeky, let's go chill out. All right, let's go chill, but wait. OK. Where is it? You're going to need some water. OK, we need some water. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We're in this bitch. We got the catfish. You, you should try the shrimp. You eating all the shrimp. Why you got to eat all the shrimp? You know they only got three shrimps. I'm top heavy. Miss mm. Dean, Tasha, tell him about it. Come here, come here, my love. Let him know how Hi. long y'all been it's cooking this food. lovely Tanya. Hi. How long have you guys been open? We opened in April 2001. We were one of the businesses that were open. After? You know, after Katrina. Right. right. So. So you guys were feeding everyone. At that everyone. time, oh yes. We did it with no problem. They had yeah. smiles on their face because they had some place to come. Well, that's the thing that's the best about food is like, and like music, and you're feeding someone and instantly they feel good about themselves. Oh, yeah. The second you eat something that tastes good, you're happy. Somebody goes, sees Cheeky Black perform, and they're just happy. To have that, the feedback, the response right. from the, the public, right. you, you know, that made us it's feel overwhelmed. real good. Right. Yes, overwhelmed. That's, because that's they were happy. Much. Yeah. They were happy. Hats off to the cooks. Hats oh. off to the cooks. Yeah. I love cooks. My yes. world. Look how you like it. Put it in your mouth, Mikey. Uh-oh. You like that. Who's Mikey? Well, I ain't touched that part. There ain't no pressure. You know me, I dig in. Let me see how you dig in. Ain't no pressure. OK, we got the ball tonight. I got my new best friends. Merc. We got Merc. These guys are going to be there. I don't know what's up, but this shit's going to get real. This shit been real, man. This shit been real. This shit been real. What you talking about? OK, it's been real. 
my life. <laughs> Cheeky black, baby. I love you, baby. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He picked me up and let my hair drop. Cheeky Black just hooked us up with tickets to the who's who of all of the Mardi Gras parties. But the one thing I need to do to get into the ball, I need a tuxedo. We I get to see you undress. <laughs> <laughs> you need help? Do I, I'm OK. OK. okay. <laughs> How those shoes feel? Good. Make sure the John's sitting right. Zip. <laughs> Zip. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what he got for me. No, that one, the crazy this, one. This one the or this crazy one? one? This one? No, that striped one. Does that look good? OK. <laughs> that looks good. Thank you. OK. We're out of here, John. <laughs> Remember Cheeky Black. <laughs> Merc? Yeah, Merc is coming. This goes to 4 AM, it says. When I take a man, then I get him back. <laughs> Pressure. Ain't no pressure. That's what we say now. Yeah, pressure. It is the long haul at the ball. It is the long haul. It ain't no joke. Cheeky black in this. Say uh oh oh. Uh oh. When I say cheeky, you say black. I'm cheeky. Black. I'm cheeky. Black. Yeah, black. What they girl they call cheeky. Black. Bitch get on me. That's cheeky. Black. Let me get that out. You call cheeky. Black. Twerk some twerk some with cheeky. Black. Your name is Maddie, but I'm cheeky. Black. Tell them get off me. Right there? Is that you? That's Cheeky right there. So look, this is what we going to do. OK. I'm going to bring you where I come from. Let's hit it. Across the canal, all night while downtown. And you're going to get to see me perform tonight. I'm excited. I got Big Maddie up here, so I'm going to need somebody who can work with him. Don't be scared. You get to see me perform nasty, and you're going to see me perform nicely on the stage. I want to see the X-rated. I hope uh -huh. you still have a wife after that. So what's the affiliation with Bounce and the Ninth Ward? Everybody has their different wards. Right. This is the Night Ward. So the Ninth Ward Bounce music is totally different from the Uptown Bounce music. Right. We gonna talk about our hood, we gonna talk about our struggle, we gonna talk about the essence of what it is that we went through. Right. You know, in our hood. Right. Down here is Ward. Yeah. This why I come at, this why I represent, this what it is. Right. F everything else. Your boy, Action Jackson, holla at me, I know you know. Right. Name Wall CTC, baby. Right. Cheeky invited me down to Lundy Gras, which is in the Ninth Ward. It's almost like a family barbecue. People are cooking. He was just making chicken and sausages, man. But that food's still amazing, you know? Like, it's it's a giant neighborhood block party. Do you cook every every year? We've been doing this over 20-something years. Oh. It's a tight community down here, isn't it? It's, it's, it's always de devastating when you went through a tragedy like Katrina. Right. And actually, what it did, it provided us with more unity yeah. to love and be around. It just made the night stronger. Hey, that's it. Look Merch! Merch! No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> What's up, Merch? They already know. Merc, we gonna hold it down. Merc's back. We thought we lost Merc, but he came uh, back. Yeah. Drank that uh, whole bottle of that white Tennessee. <laughs> Ooh, I was feeling so nice that I wasn't feeling no pain the night of the ball. <laughs> This is the party I've been looking for. Yeah. Welcome to the Night Wars. <laughs> Authenticity. Yeah. It's that real Southern hospitality and the Night War with you. That's how we do it. Cheeky brought us to a place called the House of Dance and Feathers. It's a local museum dedicated to preserving the history of the Mardi Gras Indians. So we just walked literally like 10 houses down from where we're having the barbecue. It's Maddie. How you doing, man? I'm well, how are you? We created our own Mardi Gras. Right. We didn't have a Mardi Gras. Right. But from our interaction with the Native Americans here in the city of New Orleans, that's where we determined to free ourselves. Right. By using somebody else's image, feel free to come on down to the lower nine and feel welcome and safe. This is what we're about. 
you know, we not about all this other stuff that they talk about. We about surviving, rebuilding our community, and bringing back the life that we developed many years ago. City of New Orleans, Katrina was in 2005. We were hit the worst, yet we survived. 10 years later, our inner streets need to be revived. Taxes that we pay with the hope one day Lord Nightwall will thrive. There's over 70 parades over 15 days down here in New Orleans. Each parade is organized by an individual crew. I'm stoked that the Zulu parade is the crew I'm checking out. Zulu. I know we're using the word Zulu. You know what I'm talking about? It's originated in Africa, but don't get it twisted. They have just as many white members as black members. Ain't no color barrier unity. in Zulu. It's all unity. The Zulu's got that unity Zulu right now. Zulu at heart, you can be part of their organization. <laughs> Cheeky black and this oh, mother <laughs> Don't swear around kids! That's the thing I love about Louisiana. These people have this deep, beautiful history. I came down to New Orleans for two Mardi Gras, but I'm left with friendship. I got to meet Paul, Cheeky, Toby, and Merck. Mardi Gras to me is about people helping and loving each other and coming together and living their lives to the fullest. We in this bit like that, like hey! You can be part of this New Orleans heritage. You know what I'm talking about? Part of this foundation that's going to carry on generation after generation, because this has been going on before we've been here. Let's get Mardi Gras. The Mardi Gras. I'm glad that I came. This is where we're ending it. And I just want to say I thank you, and I love you, man. I love you, too, okay. man. Oh, my goodness. OK. I love you. Well, I'll see you soon, OK? See you soon. Remember one thing, no pressure. At all. Ah! <laughs> I like that. <laughs>